Hey, bus driver, bus driver. Um, there's nobody here, but he saw me, but he still just drove away. It's a parent's worst nightmare, waiting to get your child off the bus, only to discover she's not there. That's what happened to a kindergartner in Canberra County earlier this week. Dropped off at a stop two miles from home, left standing in the cold. Now tonight, both the school district and the bus company tell us it was an unfortunate and regrettable mistake. And Maria Miller talked with that little girl, and she has her story. It's new at 6. Maria? Well, Marty and Jen, this is an unusual situation to begin with because this little girl is known to ride two separate buses from time to time. But both the district and bus company admit they have policies in place to ensure incidents like this don't happen. And our mother says she's just trying to get an answer as to why that policy wasn't followed. I went to get her off the bus and the bus driver told me she wasn't there. And I was like, come on, Mom. Come on, Mom. I want to see you. And I thought you would never find me. Heather Morris says her six-year-old daughter, Taryn, was put on the wrong bus and dropped off nearly two miles away from home, left to stand alone in the bitter cold. I was actually sad that I actually threw my book bag down and sat on it. I started to think that, that if my mom wasn't there, I was going to have to walk home. Mommy came. Mommy, mommy found mm -hmm. you. Now, luckily, her mother knew where to find her because it wasn't uncommon for Taryn to be dropped off at that location. It's the home of a friend who watches her from time to time, but Heather says that wasn't the plan on Tuesday. Taryn told her teacher that she was supposed to ride bus 101 instead of bus 112, and I did not receive a phone call or an email to verify that that, that was the bus that she was supposed to ride, and I didn't send in a note to tell them that she was supposed to ride that bus. The school district admits it should have never happened, saying, quote, any children who are not riding the regular bus on any given day must have a note from their parents. Students changing buses must submit notes for each occurrence. The superintendent also told us that multiple conversations have already happened regarding this incident to make sure it never happens again. I understand that people make mistakes. We're all human, but this is a pretty big mistake. I mean, my child was left outside for 10 minutes without an adult. And I want other parents to know, just, just to be careful, I guess, just to, just to make sure. Now, the school district said it extends its regrets to the family for this unfortunate situation. The bus company also telling me they feel for the family, saying it's regrettable and certainly a mistake. Both the district and the bus company say they're looking into plans to make sure this never happens again. Reporting live, Maria Miller, 6 News.